Hey guys, this is the Myers fan back with another video. And for once, I'm talking about Halloween again. That's new. You know, that's going to be different because I usually talk about WWE. Or at least I have been for a while. But let me get to the point. So, Danielle Harris and Dwight Little have allegedly expressed interest in coming back to the franchise. Now, with Danielle Harris, that's nothing new. She has always wanted to come back. So I'm not really going to say too much about that. But with Dwight Little, what I'm about to say is not meant to be disrespectful. I'm just brutally honest on this channel. That's just the way it is. I met Dwight Little uh, via phone. I didn't see him face to face, but I met him on the phone and we did an interview back in 2019. And it's strange because I saw Halloween 4 in 1999 and then I met him 20 years later, which would be 2019. Same thing happened with Holly Fields from Wishmaster 2. I saw her film in 1999, met her 20 years later in 2019, and then it would happen again with Colum Fuhr from Storm of the Century, where I saw the film in 2002 and met him 20 years later in 2022. So I just thought that would be a little fun fact. You know, it's really weird how I would meet these three people 20 years after watching their movie. But anyway, getting to this Halloween 4 sequel. First of all, let me address the fact that Miramax won the rights to the franchise. Because I didn't really officially address that in my last Halloween video. Didn't they already have the rights to the franchise anyway? I don't understand why people were making such a big deal out of the fact that they won the rights. That's strange to me. Getting the Halloween 4. This is what I don't understand about Dwight Little. And like I said, I met him. He was a very nice man. Very accommodating. It was super nice of him to give me that interview back in 2019. But if I'm being brutally honest... I have to say I'm confused because he allegedly turned Halloween down twice. Well, the second time is alleged. The first time is not because he told me himself. So unless he's lying on himself, he turned Halloween down the first time when they wanted to make Halloween 5 because they asked him to come back for 5 and he said no because he felt that he had already done everything he needed to do in his movie I think that's the way he told it to me you guys can go back and watch the interview and listen to it for yourself then they offered him a chance to come back again for part 8 and he allegedly turned them down again so they offer him a chance to come back in 5 he turns them down they offer him a chance to come back in 8 he turns them down again but now he's saying he would love to do a sequel to 4 what? 5 was a sequel to 4 that's why it's called five. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude. Like I said, I'm just brutally honest. And I would love to have him back on the show so we could talk about that. He's saying, allegedly, that he would love to come back and do Halloween 4 Part 2. There is a Halloween 4 Part 2. It's called Halloween 5. And you declined it. So, I don't quite understand that. That literally doesn't make any sense. 
And let's get to Danielle Harris coming back. And we all know she's always wanted to come back. Okay, so Jamie Lloyd is back. I'm not even going to tell you how stupid that is. You stupid. Considering she died in six. But they're going to say, well, we're ignoring that. Okay, cool. I'm guessing after she killed her foster parents or whatever, or allegedly killed them, or she's been in the hospital all this time. I'm guessing that's where they're going to go with this. Jamie Lloyd has basically been in, in the psychiatric hospital all this time. So, I mean, what are we going to have happen here? Are we, I'm guessing we're bringing back Ellie Cornell. She comes back and she visits Jamie Lloyd on a regular basis. And I think I've already addressed this in a video. Either they're going to do the psychiatric hospital thing and they're going to have Rachel come and visit Jamie in the hospital. Or, in my opinion, like I said in a previous video, they're probably going to have Jamie Lloyd have a daughter. Her daughter grows up and hates her for ruining her life and holding her back. Just like John hated Lori for ruining his life, or at least as he saw it, and holding him back. She's going to grow up resenting her mother because her mother never let her go out with her friends. Her mother never let her do anything in fear that Michael might come back someday. That's what I see this TV series being about. It's either going to be about Jamie Lloyd being in the psychiatric hospital. She gets, she, she tells people that Michael's alive and that he's coming after her. Maybe people in the hospital start showing up dead or some shit, whatever. And then they see, okay, maybe Michael really is alive. It's either going to be that or either Jamie Lloyd has a kid. Her kids all grown up or either her kids, a teenager or a young adult, young adolescent, what have you. The kid grows up to resent Jamie Lloyd because Jamie Lloyd deprived the child of a normal life. And she's tired of her mother talking about Michael, going on about Michael. She tells her mom, mom, you're crazy. And then Michael shows up and starts killing her friends. I've already talked about this in a video I don't mean to jump to conclusions but the shit is so obvious because that's the only place they could go with it there is nowhere else to go with this story because more than likely they're not gonna include part 5 because Rachel died in 5 so the only other place to go is either the psychiatric hospital where Jamie is telling the doctors that Michael's alive. They don't believe her. Michael breaks in the hospital, starts killing them. And then she escapes somehow. Unless they hit us with a swerve and let Michael kill her again. And we know Danielle more than likely wouldn't take too kindly to that. Or they do something where she has a child. The child ends up resenting her for depriving her of a life or him of a life. And Michael shows up and kills the child's friends. And then that's when the child believes her mom and says, Mom, you were telling the truth this whole time. One thing I will give Danielle Harris is the fact that she said that 
it's time for them to finish all the timelines. I will give her that. Because I do think we need a Halloween 9. I think that's long overdue. So I applaud her for saying that. But what I don't understand is Dwight Little. He claims he would love to do this movie even though he turned Halloween down twice. Well, I should say allegedly twice because the first time he told me he turned them down for part five and then the second time is alleged where he turned down a chance to do Halloween Resurrection. Maybe he didn't like the script in Resurrection. I don't know. Maybe he didn't like the script for five. I don't know. But I just find it funny that he said he would love to do this sequel to four even though he actually turned down a sequel to four in the first place. Just something to think about. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. Thank you for listening to this video. Please be sure to follow me on all forms of social media at the Myers Fan 25 and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Thank you for watching.